Hey, hey, welcome back to the Urban Pharmacy Podcast. We are three days out from the Holistic Health Bundle being gone for good. And today I have a guest in the podcast. It is Ben Rowey, and he is actually one of the creators of the Holistic Health Bundle and a friend of mine. Now, I want to tell you about the Holistic Health Bundle before we get into his bio and his episode, because listen... If you're following me here, I know that you have some remote interest in living a more natural, holistic, or plant-based lifestyle. One of those three things you're interested in. Now, the Holistic Health Bundle is one of the most affordable ways to get your hands into onto resources that are going to help you significantly on your path to wellness. If you know, when you compare it to working with me one-on-one or joining a holistic wellness society, it is the biggest bang for your buck. And it's only here until July 30th, 2023. Now, I really hate for you to miss out on this opportunity of getting this resource of over 100 contributions, eBooks, video courses, recipe guides, detoxification protocols, herbal remedies, growing your own herbs, um, mindset, breath work, harnessing the power of the sun uh, to help balance, regulate, and um, improve hormone health and digestion and circadian rhythm. And like, there's just so much in there. There's trauma recovery. There is, again, detoxification protocols. I think there's six detoxification protocols. There's my friend, Matt's five-star Revol- salad revolution. It's amazing book. Um, there's so much, and I would really, truly hate for you to miss it. So make sure that you click down in the show notes to get the holistic health bundle. It's only $50 for over $8,000 worth of content from doctors, natural paths, natural, uh, nutritionists, um, holistic health practitioners, recipe creators, and more. So please, please, please trust me. When I tell you that the Holistic Health Bundle is one of the best resources you can get your hands on outside of working with me one-on-one or in my community membership, I promise you, you will be so thankful. And uh, maybe once you listen to Ben's transformation with Holistic Living, uh, you'll be even more excited about the bundle. But uh, when you do get the bundle, you're going to have access to his 90 day transformation. And we're going to talk more about his 90 day transformation uh, in this episode. You're going to be mind blown. But uh, let me tell you a little bit more about Ben. So from running the corporate rat race to quitting his job and traveling the world in search of enlightenment and finally reaching the best shape of his life at age 45, Ben Rowley's physical and mental transformation has been anything but average. Truly, it's amazing. Um he actually really changed his life, uh, but he has actually grown up fascinated by National Geographic and nature programs and um, really has a lot of respect for living things and animals. And you're going to hear more about that in this episode. Uh, but his handle is Plant Based Ben. If you want to go follow him, he shares a lot more outside of plant based living these days. Uh, but you know, you can take what you want and leave what you don't need. But, uh, Ben is just an incredible human being. And I'm super thankful to be working right alongside him with this holistic health bundle, because we are helping to change the world one day and one person at a time. Um, so I would love to know what you think about this episode. And, uh, if you have any, comments or questions for Ben, just let me know. And I'll be sure to get them answered for you. And I will give you the answers in the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube and if you're not just message me on Instagram and I'll be happy to happy to send you an answer your way. But again, reminder, if you get the holistic health bundle, you're going to get access to Ben's 90 day transformation, his plant-based chiseled body transformation. And you're going to be blown away by his story. So I hope it inspires you and that you take action on your health today. Ben Rowley, welcome to the Urban Pharmacy Podcast. I'm thrilled to be here with you today. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I have been following you on social media for several years now, and I'm just 
Uh, I'm fascinated with your lifestyle and how you share truth. And um, I just, I want to know more about your personal journey uh, because you're, it seems like you're always out there helping others and we don't get to know a, enough about Ben. So that's, that's why I asked you on. And um, we're also in the holistic health bundle together, which I'm very excited about. And um, yeah, so I want to hear about your journey. So let's get started with that. Um, first off, before we get into questions, how are you today? You know, doing great, doing great. You mentioned the holistic health bundle. We're launching in a couple of days. Um, so I've just been getting it ready. We've got, you know, 117 uh, different books and courses, including your course in there. Um, thank you so much for the awesome contribution on that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just been a lot getting it ready. So I've been busy, but I can't tell you how excited I am because it's only lasts for 10 days. And um, it's just a, it, it's an amazing, um, it's amazing launch, amazing um, offering for people. So I'm, I'm, I'm in an excited mood lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's, um, I've been in multiple different bundles before, but I'm so excited about this one because the ones that I've been in before are plant-based or raw bundles. And this one is holistic. So this is like the other side of what I teach because I teach plant-based nutrition, but holistic living. I mean, my membership is called holistic wellness society. It, you know, life is not just all about diet and exercise. Life is about taking a bird's eye view and looking at what's going on in a holistic way and helping to heal ourselves through different modalities and getting back to nature, simplifying life. And I feel like this bundle has all of that in it and more. And it, there's just so many, um, so many amazing resources that people are just going to be like, wow, I don't even need to work with Stacy because it's all right here. Like truly that, that's how I feel it's all in there. And, um, I'm really, really excited to be part of it. So, um, Ben, I really, I, I found you and I was like, Oh, plant-based Ben, I've got to follow him because plant-based living. So I kind of want to start there. I want to know your journey um, to how you became plant-based Ben and like your life up until now. I mean, give me your whole life story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I came out of the womb. Um, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it, the, the, there was some primary turning points in my life that I'll share that kind of developed who I was and, and, um, who, how, how I kind of became plant-based Ben. You know, part of it started off with just being an environmentalist and, you know, being uh, plant based, the impact that, uh, you know, just loving nature, a respect for animals. And I grew up, I was fortunate, you know, the for a fortunate person to live on land that backed up to a forest preserve. So every day I, we'd have deer in the winter, we'd have deer coming up to our bird feeder. And my mother was an avid bird watcher, still is. And, uh, you know, so we, uh, I, I grew in an, uh, just an immense appreciation for nature and animals. Um, and, you know, growing up, um, I, we would watch Animal Planet, and I'd just be mesmerized by all of the shows. And, um, you know, and at the end, they're like, but the rainforest is being torn down. We don't do something about it. So, and when you're a 10-year-old kid, that's pretty traumatic. I mean, if you're a 50-year-old kid, it's pretty dramatic. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah you know, hear what's going on in the world. And, and although I, uh, my perspective on some of those things have, has adjusted over time, there's still the underlying uh, desire that I have to respect and appreciate nature and cause as little harm as possible. So, um, you know, that was the initial kind of what rooted me into uh, a love and respect for nature and animals and, um, fast forward years later, I also have always been fascinated by health. Um, always curious, uh, about it. And then one day, um, my father got, uh, cancer and he was given, um, only a 3% chance to live. 
in, for five years. So basically, that's a death sentence. Yeah. Um, and what might have been even worse news was he only had a 10% chance to live two years. So our whole family's thinking we have less than two years with dad. Um, he was given a mixed cell uh, lung cancer uh, um, uh, diagnosis. And, uh, and so I said, gosh, there's got to be another way. I didn't know anything. This was a good 15 years ago or so. And I didn't know. So I'm like, there's got to be another solution. And I start Googling. I start researching. And I came to the realization that there was so much more out there regarding healing that, that I had no idea anything about it. I didn't know about detoxification. I didn't know about the power of alkalinity in the body and oxygenation of the body and the power of raw foods and healing mm -hmm. um, and the whole mind, body, spirit. Like you were talking about the holistic health. And as you can see how this is one of the things that inspired me to come up with the concept of the holistic health bundle is there's so much that we have to learn uh, that we weren't taught, that, that doctors weren't taught um, there were, you know, good people attempting to do their best, but limited by the education they received. So, you know, I was really passionate. And so I spent that two years uh, taking care of my father and also researching, researching the Gerson therapy, mm -hmm. oxy therapy, all of these different modalities um, that I, anything I could find, get my hands on. I even got to the point where I was going around and interviewing different doctors um, that were healing patients from, from uh, nu nutrition-based and alternative protocols. Wow. And uh, I was even interviewing folks who have survived other terminal illnesses. So I, that was a major turning point in who, how plant-based Ben started to become plant-based Ben by this immense desire, not only for appreciation for nature, for animals, but now for health. And I felt like I just got handed a superpower because I realized that through the power of nutrition, through holistic healing, we do have the tools to recover from almost anything. And my father not only did he live five years, he lived another 12 years and died of a non-cancer related issue. He ended up doing a integrative protocol, which is different. It's using the conventional and mixing it in with addressing the other issues, um, you know, with nutrition, um, tons of vitamins that were uh, whole food vitamins that he was given to him, alkalizing his body, hydration, changing his diet, dealing with his emotional issues um, in combination with the conventional therapy. So was it that that saved them? We don't know, but he made it into that small 3% that most 97% of people don't make it um, out of. So there is something significant to that. And that was a major turning point in my life that um, um, at this point, I... Uh, had a, a great awakening. And at this point, I'm still not plant-based Ben, but I'll pause there for a second, um, you know, before I kind of move on to the next chapter, because there's a lot to unpack there. And it was a very transformative um, time for me um, with, with my father there. Wow. Wow. I mean, you're really taking, you were, you were in, you were boots on the ground, fine, just, in dire need of finding a solution for your dad, it sounds like. I was, and it woke me up to the point where you mentioned talking out about corruption and freedom and things like that, mm -hmm. is because I don't think that a lot of us recognize the um, the corruption within our agencies, the idea that we have something called the ca captured agencies with the FDA and the CDC and other things that... Um, Sometimes, um, sometimes special interests and corporations have more power and influence, um, and and seep into these agencies. And uh, you know, money money influences policy, and we've uh, been influenced by that. And due to that, that's something that I've expanded, um, you know, into also speaking up about because we want to control our health. We have to be able to control what goes into our body and we have to be aware of the things that they say are safe um, 
that uh, may not be safe because that's happened time over time with different medications, with lead paint, with DDT, uh, with multiple medications where at one point they may have been a, a safe and effective and approved um, and later retracted from that. So, so yeah. So uh, just from that point on, just to come complete circle to the plant-based Ben, now I'm 44 years old. Um, I'm still working in, uh, in, in a kind of, um, after traveling the world for uh, a, a little bit, a few years, I was in Thailand and India and trying to find myself after a long bout of corporate um, work um, and realized that wasn't bringing me happiness, the nine to five job. I had the golden handcuffs. And so I left that, started traveling and searching for inner peace, the other aspect of holistic healing. I'm finding that inner balance and peace within myself and finding out who I am. And at that point, um, at 44 years old, I realized I was going inward, but I really wasn't making an impact outward. And I thought I wanted to shift my attention. I said, what do I love? I love nature. I love animals. I love healing, but I'm not applying or sharing any of this information. I said, and I went to, and I was inspired by an event that I went to where these other um, influencers were sharing their stories and influencing and, and uh, inspiring people. And I said, I want to do that. <laughs> I want a wow. platform where I can raise awareness for the things I care about. And I said, well, what can I really do? I said, well, I can try to get ripped and um, <laughs> sub 90 days to transform my body. And if I do it, maybe um, I can use that as a platform to raise awareness about the things I care about. And that's how plant-based then was started. Oh my God. That. That is hilarious, but also awesome. <laughs> oh my God. So you, I mean, you were just like, that's amazing. Okay. So I was like expecting you to just be like, I hit rock bottom and I just decided that I wanted to just t- take my health back. And so I did, and I documented it, but you were like, I am so inspired by seeing other people help other people that I'm going to take control of my life. And I'm going to share my story and I'm going to inspire people through that. And you just decided and made your mind up that that's what it's going to, that's, what's going to happen. And that's what, okay. That's what you did. That is, that's amazing. So, okay. Tell me about your, um, about your transformation. So like how soon after you decided that you were going to do this, did you do it? Did you plan this out or did you just like say, all right, I'm just going to stop the processed foods and like, see what happens. Or were you like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to eat. Like, you know, were you really planning it out? Yeah. You know, here I am 44 years old. I never had, um, you know, I was what they call skinny fat. So I had 18% body fat, which is very normal, you know, but I had like skinny arms in a belly. And so I'm like, do I gain muscle or do I lose fat? How do I do this? And I basically made a plan. I got back from from Mexico. I was on a trip and I said, all right, I need a plan because um, how am I going to do this? I, so I got a clear plan Mm -hmm. from um, somebody that I trusted and that was proven to have transformed themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, I got a, um, uh, basically, I, I told the part-time job where I was uh, working cons- as a consultant, I said, I'm, I was working full-time. I said, I, I'm going to have to go down to 20 hours a week. I have other plans with my life. And so I literally cut my work in half at risk that they would have let me go because they wouldn't have been comfortable with that setup. Um, so I really put myself out there and I just went for it. And I started measuring my progress. I, and I even booked a picture at a like a, a photo studio, which I never did anything like that in my life. And I said, I'm showing up there in 90 days, so I better make this happen. So I had real commitment, a clear plan. I started eating whole food plant-based. I started working out on a regular routine. Um, and I went from 18% body fat down to 10% body fat in those 90 days. I found out there were there there, there were abs underneath my um, the fat, uh, which we all have a six pack. We just have to remove what's not the six pack, and it, it shows up. And um, you know, and, and it just happened. And I looked at the pictures and I said, "Oh, I think that's pretty good." And uh, I ended up 
sharing that on online and, and people took notice of it and my account started to grow and I asked, they started asking me questions how I did it and I would um, ended up being a coach and supporting people and I've worked with 100 plus people over the last few years and creating solutions for people on how to do their own transformation. So so that's the abbreviated version of my transformation was um, you know working out almost every day, 90 days, calorie deficit, whole food plant-based and, um, and dedication. Before we get too far into this episode, I want to remind you that there's just a few days left to get the Holistic Health Bundle. This is a collaboration of over 117 resources to help you on your path to better living. I want to remind you of what's inside of the bundle so that you can see if this is right for you, but you can always just click down in the show notes to see if there's two to three things that you're going to love, and then that's going to be well worth your money. But let's dive in a little bit deeper. Um, first off, again, like I said, the Holistic Health Bundle is a culmination of 117 plus eBooks, courses, programs, including my brand new mini video course that I did with Cohen called Nurturing Nature, Empowering Holistic and Plant-Based Kids. And this covers, this entire bundle covers an array of other subjects that are tailored to suit a diverse range of interests and skill sets. And there are, are doctors, there are naturopaths, nurses, holistic practitioners, herbalists, detoxification specialists, and recipe creators that are in this bundle that have contributed their resource just for you to elevate your health. So in the bundle, there is again, herbalism, homeopathy, homeopathy, inner healing, natural care and beauty, detoxification, biohacking. There's a lot of plant-based recipes in there. So I know that if you're following my channel, you're probably quite interested in plant-based living. And there's lots of juice recipes and salad recipes in there as well. And this collection has something special for everyone. And each resource has been crafted by experienced creators, like I said, and health professionals who are really passionate about helping you achieve your holistic well-being. And again, the value is super undeni undeniable. Um, most of the products in the bundle are brand new and they have never been released before. And if you were to buy all of them separately, it would be over $8,000 worth of content. But thanks to us, putting our minds and hearts together, you can get it right now only through July 30th for $50. That's a 99% discount. So the best way that you can explore this is to just look through the sales page to see if any of the things pop out to you. Just scroll down to the bottom of the sales page and see all of the contributions. And if two or three of them pop out, it's going to be well worth your money. And then you can dive into the other things, you know, over the next year, download all of the PDFs and eBooks to a hard drive or a thumb drive or to Google drive. And then the video courses will all be accessible for the next year. So please don't wait. We have just a few more days and then the holistic health bundle will be gone. And I am just so honored to be part of it. And I know that you're going to love this resource to help you live a better life. All right, back to the show. And why did you choose whole food plant-based for this? You know, that was the whole purpose. You know, anybody can, you know, it wasn't because whole food plant-based is, is necessarily better. Personally, I think it is because, um, you know, it, you're lighter, you're, you're more energized, you're eating carb, you know, things like keto, you can lose weight on keto, sure. You can get ripped on a carnivore diet, sure. But I didn't do the transformation for me as much as I did it for the animals, mm -hmm. as I did it for the principle to show that you can get healthy and be at your best on a plant-based diet. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So... Then did you, you created, you, you worked with people one-on-one. -on -one. Do you have a 90 day transformation now that you share with people? No, I stopped, you know, 
about three years ago when everything kind of hit, I, I stopped coaching and I put that on hold. Um, and honestly, I just started cr creating the solutions like the holistic health bundle and the off grid bundle um, and to give people solutions uh, um, in different areas. Uh, but there's still been a lot of demand for it. So I'm actually in the process of doing a live uh, mini course uh, for people who do sign up for the bundle. Um, yeah, the, it's going to be um, a two hour plus course, basically breaking down all my secrets, everything I've learned, how to do it, tips, pitfalls. Um, so no matter who somebody gets a bundle through, actually, um, they can just use the same code and get into my course for free. So that's going to be launching a week after um, the bundle ends. So uh, yeah, so that is going to be a solution I can provide for people if anybody wants to go into depth about my journey um, and how to do it and the same principles I use now for myself and my other clients. Cool. And then um, I also just want to quickly ask about like the, the, it almost looks like, it's not like parkour, but like, were you, <laughs> your calisthenics, like, um, did you decide that you were going to do a certain, um, I I'm like a Pilates studio owner, uh, yoga background bar, all of that. I, I studied fitness and exercise science. So I have to ask you this, like, did you decide what type of training you were going to do? Like, did you do heavy weights? Did you just do calisthenics? Sure. I mean, because if you do look at your pictures, you're like ridiculously ripped. And I think everybody wants to know how to look that chiseled. You know, that's the thing is I'm not that big, you know, I'm yeah. not, but when you see me, um, when you, there's a beach body type and then there's a gym bro body type. I'm more of that beach body type Yeah. You know, where getting cut reveals the muscles, reveals the shape, the striations, the, the veins and all of that. Um, you know, um, and I did in terms of the, the workout routines, I did mostly a gym five days a week. Uh, each muscle part, I would work twice per week um, for hypertrophy, for the muscle gain. Um, and uh, at the same time, I was complementing that with calisthenics, is that you're thinking about the parkour. Mm -hmm. The calisthenics is basically, I do tricks on the poles. I can hang sideways and do a human flag. Um, I, I learned how to do a muscle up. Um, and then I also learned, took a, my handstand that I did as a child, learned it again and learned how to do handstand pushups, which I now do. So it's all these tricks that I wasn't doing in my entire life. And now I'm doing them in my late forties, um, and now I'm at 50, which I just turned 50. So, and still doing all that stuff. So, you know, I'm not slowing down. If anything, I've still got goals where I'm doing other tricks and, and calisthenics that I'm working on that I haven't been able to accomplish yet. So um, it, it's been, it's it's a passion of mine, calisthenics, that uh, it does help to shape your body in certain ways when you do body exercises. Um, and at the same time, it, it, it's, it becomes play. You know, right. it's, Someone always asks, what's the best cardio to do? And I would say the one that you enjoy the most. Right. Because that's the one you probably will stick to. And it's consistency that's going to get you across the finish line. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you mentioned, um, you kind of pivoted uh, in whence the pandemic came in 2020. So um, why did you pivot your focus at that time? Was it this internal like um, assignment feeling within that you just couldn't stay quiet about and that you felt like you needed to be part of a solution and help people? Like what, what happened for you to kind of shift your focus from plant-based Ben and 90 day transformation to speaking up about what you feel is really important to help people understand about what's going on kind of behind the scenes and that we're kind of hidden from, um, or that we're living a life, you know, with things behind the curtain. Um, why did you decide to change your messaging? 
Yeah, you know, it was something I was called to do. I, I didn't want to do it because I knew how people would react. I've got clients, one-on-one -on -one clients. I've got customers that are using my meal planner and workout program. I've got, you know, respected followers. I've got family members. And to speak up against the original narrative of what's been going on in uh, that we would hear, you know, if you question pharmaceutical products, you were labeled something, you were considered to not be trusting the science, and nothing could have been further from the truth. I was reading the science. Mm -hmm. I was looking at evidence-based information. I wanted to know the truth. I didn't want to be, I'm not anti-anything. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I just recognize there's been corruption and sometimes motives that um, that, that, that the industry has, and sometimes things were being pushed. I, I just wanted, I wanted some proof. I wanted testing. I wanted some evidence. I wanted an option. And it became clear to me after a while that we were being uh, misinformed. And so those that were considered to be spreading misinformation, um, and now the data's in, and we know today for that not to be the case. Mm -hmm. we, we know, without going into the details, but what they had told us has been completely changed. And they said, well, if, if you don't do this, you're not gonna help them, and that wasn't true. So all, all these different examples that finally came out in the truth through data and science over time, um, so I, I recognized there was a bigger force happening here. Um, it wasn't just about, yeah, it, it was, it, 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 there's a bigger principle at play here. There were, there were powers that were trying to gain more power, um, reducing our rights, and it was leading us in a very dark direction of uh, more of a totalitarian type of regime. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see that very clearly now once you start to look at that and, and reflect on history and, and, and investigate. But if you don't ask the question and you don't take a look behind the curtain, as you were saying, you, you really don't see the big picture. So once I saw it, you know, I always wanted to stand on principle, not on what's popular. I didn't do plant-based because it was popular. I did it for the principle of, of the, it's the right thing to do, in my opinion. And when I stood up about these issues, it's because it's the right thing to do. So I, I hope I can continue to have the, uh, the courage to follow my mo moral compass and not, not the popular one. Yeah. So do you, uh, you seem kind of like, um, I don't know if I, you do you meditate. Did you pray about, um, just kind of speaking up? Um, I meditated. It was a big part of chapter. I, I mentioned I traveled for a few years. I spent 10 years meditating every day uh, for almost an average of an hour a day. So it's been a huge part of my life is to go inward and reflect on um, this external story that we're sometimes caught in, which causes stress and worry and anxiety. And the relative peace that's here when we're present and outside of our story and outside of our worries. Um, so that was a big part of, I think, having a bit of capacity to respond to what was happening instead of reacting with a sense of fear. Um, so yeah, I was very conscious and aware of um, you know that process throughout. Yeah. So did you get any pushback? um, from, from kind of pivoting your messaging and, um, in particular from like the vegan community. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you asked that because, you know, I was, I was a uh, writer for a major, uh, plant-based newspaper. <laughs> I'll just put it there. And I had, I was doing transformation articles for them and it was a great flow. Um, as I mentioned, I had, uh, so yeah, I lost clients. I lost that project that I was doing with them. Um, I had doctors that I respected that 
uh, would come and comment and uh, attack my posts. And, um, you know, so it was, it was harsh and I lost thousands and thousands of followers, tens of thousands of followers, you know, but it was so liberating. And if anyone wants to take any message out of this, it's the idea that it's so freeing to speak the truth and to speak your own truth, whatever that is. And the idea to live in out of alignment with what we think and we say, when that's not lining up, there's internal stress and struggle. And you're never going to mm -hmm. feel whole. You're never going to feel integrated. You're not going to feel integrity in yourself. So what lesson I learned from that is it was so beautiful to recognize that freedom and to recognize that didn't kill me and to recognize that, yes, I lost a lot of followers, whatever value that is. You know, uh, I love, I love the people that support me and, you know, and, but at the same time, I had even more come back and say, I love you for standing your ground. Thank you. I appreciate your courage. And honestly, it's, yeah, I just let it be as it was. And not only things were okay, were okay they're even better. So, uh, you know, I took a risk to speak out and it paid, it's paid for itself in every aspect of my life. Yeah. What good do you think came out of the pandemic? A greater awareness of the collusion between agent government agencies and 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 special interests. I think people are starting to recognize that the system doesn't work the way we thought it worked, um, and that we have to really start questioning and scrutinizing, and not just saying we trust the science, but truly looking at it. And um, you know, so that that's a major aspect is that we're waking up there, and I really think it's spark something that I'm calling the great awakening. It's yeah. an awakening yeah. on the planet right now where we are evolving on a spiritual level to a higher level of consciousness out of the state of fear that we've been um, programmed to live under through all the institutions knocking us down in fear. And I think there's a sense of we have this capacity to wake up and live more compassionately from a standpoint of love and so I think it had awakened uh, a sleeping giant and uh, we're just getting started on that. Yeah, we really are. And um, so was it, can you remind me when you decided to do this holistic bundle, was it before 2020 or was it after? Yeah, you know, the, the holistic bundle, the first one we did was just in, in January, January of this year. Okay, because I saw it and I was like, oh, I got to be part of that. So I'm so glad you are a part of that. And, and it, it's something that I love. And here's the thing is we have plant-based bundles and there's a lot of plant-based solutions in this. A majority of the solutions that are food related are plant-based, but some aren't, you know, but the idea is that I think it's one thing that we're also learning from this pandemic is the idea that we need to come together. And I've had some people that are vegans that I asked to join the bundle and they said, if it's not 100% vegan, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in it. I said, we have to stop that divisive attitude. Right. And this is exposing. Do we want to reach a, a, a sounding, do we want to have like an echo chamber where we're reaching vegans or reaching vegans? Or do we want to reach out to people that aren't necessarily looking for it and expose them to our lifestyle through a platform like this bundle? And so for me, I can be one of those representatives. You can be one of those. Rep you, we are the representatives within this bundle. Many, many other vegans as well are coming together and saying, listen, you know, come check out our world as well. And we're reaching a lot of non-vegans through, through promoting this. And that's one of the most exciting things about this bundle. And something that I think is so cool as, as a organic farmer, like, um, you know, we, we grow and we are surrounded and we sell at the farmer's market and we are surrounded by local farmers, not all plant, not all plant farmers, animal farmers. Um, and, um, you know, for me, that's actually, that's hard, uh, but they're part of my community. And 
I think, I think that if anything, it's a much better step. In, it's a, it's a step in the right direction to be sourcing food locally, not at all funding any of this factory farming chaos and corruption. Um, so it's like, we have to unite. And like you said, even though it's, you know, it's not all or nothing really, we, we have to come together and find common ground. And I think a lot of holistic living has so much common ground and a, a lot of it puts so much emphasis on lots of plants in the dietary pattern and using plants to heal and using plants as medicine and understanding the power of connecting to the earth and growing our own food and slowing down and getting out of the rat race and reconnecting to human existence. And, um, so even if it's not a fully plant-based bundle, like it's, this is, this is where change happens, you know, um, where we can find, you know, common ground, we can find similarities and, and really unite and, and, um, expand this energetic, you know, rising up of people who are really trying to, um, change the world and, you know, share what's really important, which is, you know, human connection. Human connection. I love that. And it's so true. You know, you mentioned about the other bund the bundles. We did something called the off-grid homestead bundle. Yeah. And a lot of the, 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 the off-grid folks, they do raise animals. Yeah. Um, and I, it was interesting for me to talk to them and share my perspective. We have to get out of these echo chambers if we want to start reaching people. You know, have to start to understand these different cultures and perspectives people are coming from. You know, maybe they're not as crazy as we thought. Maybe they, you know, and I, I think the, the what's causing such a divide in keeping us from uniting is we have these stereotypes. Well, if they believe this, they probably also support that person and voted for this person. Right, you know, right. Stereotypes or, you know, if they eat meat, that means they're, it, it, and then they look at vegans as, these extremists who are, you know, because they're seeing the, the extreme videos that come across them. And so, you know what? No, I want them to see that we're normal, that okay. we aren't judgmental, that we will, are willing to listen to, okay, why do they eat me? Why do they, you know, what is it like to raise their animals? You know, these are, for me, it's this type of integration that is going to unite us and where we can start to take the best principles of of our different worlds and share our unique differences and start to recognize there's something to learn from every different culture and um, to understand them better. And I, I think that's uh, you know a beautiful opportunity um, that uh, you know that this bundle specifically is even bringing us together to to make that these connections and um, you know unite and connect with people on a whole different level. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, just kind of closing the conversation about the vegan topic here. Um, I honestly, this during, I don't know if it's just because I've like woken up to it or if it's really been this massive push, there's a lot going on. We know there's a lot going on behind the scenes that most people don't know about at all, but, um, there's this huge vegan push and there's so much vegan crap <laughs> out there that I honestly have been embarrassed over the last few years to even say the word vegan. Like, I'm just like, yeah. I'm not even yeah. going there anymore. I eat whole yeah. food, plant-based. I don't Thanks. add a lot of salt, oil, and sugar. Like that's the way that I roll. I help people that are addicted to processed foods and, that need to heal, you know, like it, it's more about just whole fit, whole plant living, um, than it is about vegan, because I think that so much of the vegan, I, I don't want to call it an agenda, but like the vegan situation right now is actually making people sick. And, um, because there's just so much crap out there and, um, 
it's just not good. Not good at all. I, I agree. And that that's the thing, you know, in the circles that I'm in, it's, you know, it, it's, I get, I do get uh, approached a lot and they're like, well, that must mean, you know, so, sometimes things are, you know, just because something's vegan does not mean it's healthy. And I, you know, I don't eat impossible burgers. I don't eat processed foods. I eat lentils and beans and tons of fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, I eat a high carb raw lifestyle, you know, and I, um, I love it. And, and, and the idea that uh, there's been a lot of people getting kind of labeled and caught up in, um, you know, there's certain philosophies that I just, just, I don't know that it, see, it seems to me with this whole processed food and the vegan movement it, it, and some of the extremes with the environmental pushes um, to approach it in a more, uh, a way where society will kind of, um, some of these environmental principles that vegans seem to support, and I would support have been hijacked and corrupted, and I can't support them based on that. They're actually more dangerous to society than they would be beneficial. So yeah, there there is not only the food aspect of it, but also the idea that there are some agendas that seem to be uh, bought into by, not to stereotype, but, you know, by a lot of us. And, um, you know, so, so yeah, I, I just wanted to represent the community the best I can by uh, kind of yeah, letting people know that it's, you know, we're all individuals and we're all learning along the way. And, and uh, you know, we can't box anybody into a particular title or, or, or name, so. All right, thank you for shedding light on that. Um, all right, Ben, I ask all of my guests this, and I want to know from you what your what your take is. What does holistic living mean to you? So, I mean, this is very really timely because we're we're doing a holistic health bundle. But what does it what does it mean to you to live a holistic life? Mm. Well, I um, you know the concept of whole, you know. Um, of being whole uh, is really um, covers the ground of not just addressing it from a standard of, of whole foods, but of living from a standpoint of wholeness. And I, I really think that ultimately holistic, even those two different words, whole with a W and whole with an A, the idea of real holistic living boils down to living life from a place of living in harmony, of living whole, opposed to the standpoint of living as separate. Um, ultimately, if we aren't integrated and living in harmony with our mind, body, and spirit together, uh, we're missing a greater opportunity to uh, really optimize our health. So for me, it's about optimal living that includes not only what we eat and drink and think, um, but also the aspects of, uh, of truly opening our hearts and connecting um, with ourselves and, and, and with with and beyond. So that's what it means to me. Thank you for sharing that. Is there anything else that you want to leave our listeners with or that you feel on your heart to, to share? Gosh, you know, um, you know, I, I think, you know, we could leave it at that. I just wanted to say, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I appreciate the opportunity to share my journey. Um, I hope it can inspire or, uh, you know, uh, spark some ideas for somebody. So if anybody wants to reach me or uh, watches this and wants to ask me a question or just say hello, um, feel free to do so. Yes. And follow Ben at Plant Based Ben on Instagram. Um, and I will just tell you, Ben, your story. I actually didn't know like that you just decided at this 
retreat or whatever that you were going to do, you were going to do something and you were going to change, your, you're going to change your life. And you did. And like, you just did it and you completely changed your health. And now you're helping other people do the same and you're inspiring and educating and, um, and really finding so many influencers in the health and wellness space to share this message with. And it's, it's just, you really inspired me. So Thank hopefully, you. um, that means something to you. So thank you so much for being on and we appreciate you. And I am so thankful for all that you do. So thanks again, Ben. It means a lot. Thank you so much, Stacey.